Up there, can you see it? A chameleon. Choice. Here it is. Check it out. Wow. Earlier in the year, I'd come here five times, searching high and low, night after night, without success. We did find some other cool animals. Snakes, scorpions, pretty interesting. But this week, we finally find the chameleons. Let's get back to Chichen Island. These are veiled chameleons. Camellio calitratus, a species of chameleon native to the Arabian Peninsula. Here on Chijin, Taiwan, they're an invasive species, so there is an active conservation effort to remove them. All right, we're back on Chijin Island. You're watching this video, so we did find a chameleon. Yeah. Naibang has spotted a chameleon up there. We can't for the life of us see it. It's way up there. That's how hard they are to find. Mm -hmm. So none of us can see it? And he can see it, he knows what he's doing, and you can see the pole there in full action, reaching out. So I moved down the tree a bit. I guess we'll go inside the forest and see if we can see it from below. We may come down. I can't see it from here, there's too many leaves in the way. So I'm way up uh, in this tree. You can't really see, there's the ground way down there where that light is. Um, and the chameleon's just in front of me here, so. Let's have a look. So you can just see it's back in there. Uh, it's almost within reach, so I'm just gonna grab that branch and see if I can swing it in towards myself. Climbed up and got it. Little male. Well, it's still quite big. Anyway, now I gotta figure out how to climb down with this guy. So there's everybody down there. There's our chameleon. Can you see it, can you see it guys? So this is how it's normally done. The stick comes up, and the chameleon reaches out, grabs on, and down it goes. Oh dear, but that's a, it's okay because there's a branch right there. It's thick bush here, so the chameleon's totally fine. Now, am I totally fine? I've got to climb down there now. Sitting on these thin branches here, way up in the tree. A bit precarious, so everyone's worried about me. I better go down. Unfortunately, as it was coming down on the stick, it, it jumped off and got back up there. We couldn't find it. Um, we got to catch it, have a look at it, and now it's free to go about its business. Not a bad end, really. Let's keep looking, see if we can find another one. In the meantime, let's jump back to last night's chameleon. You can just see a bright green blob in the middle of the screen here. So I'll zoom in. A chameleon. Okay, so I've got this big pole here and got a cloth on the end of it. And from its perch on the tree, the chameleon will grip onto this fabric here. And I simply just lower it down. Easy peasy, I hope. So let's give it a go. It was certainly easier said than done, but we got there eventually. He's on, he's on, I've got him. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. Slowly lower him down. Carefully. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Check it out. Oh, this is amazing. There it is. It actually hung, hung on the pole in the end, so I had to be extra careful not to drop it. Wow. You can see why they've become so popular in the pet trade. Such amazing colors. They can change their colors in order to communicate. They're also fairly slow moving. And of course, they're super cute. They have these incredible prehensile tails that they can use to grip onto branches. 
as you can see here. As well as opposing toes and claws, which make them fantastic climbers. And you can see their eyes are capable of moving in all directions, as well as independently. This allows them to track potential prey without having to move their head and risk giving away their position. While we were distracted looking at yesterday's chameleon and checking out these sleeping lovebirds, Naibang was off finding another chameleon. So Naibang made up for the one that he dropped and just found another one. Um, a female. So he was too quick to get it down. We didn't get a chance to film him catching it, but there it goes. You can see it's quite small. There it is, a little one. It's really cool the way their tails curl up like that. Cool. These chameleons both have foster homes waiting for them so they can be removed from the ecosystem. Thanks for watching. See you next time.